How you doing, world? This is your man, Big D Productions 100. You guys may also know me. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook. I'm a photographer. Now, this video is going to be the critiquing of the professional photographers. As you guys know, uh, we have RC Concepcion, we have Scott Kelby, and we have my buddy here, Thomas Hawk. He's a photographer, and he's on Google+. He's worldwide. You can find a lot of his work online. But today, we're just going to focus on Thomas Hawk. Now, next week, we're going to focus on other photographers as well. So, in each video, it's going to be different, and it's going to be a new photographer each week. So, just stay tuned. But right now, I have my buddy here with me. His name is Kevin Rice. He's from West Virginia, and I guess I'll just let him introduce himself. How you doing, people? I'm Kevin from West Virginia, and uh, we're going to have a little fun tonight picking on some of the pros. <laughs> like, they want to pick on us, we're going to pick on them. Let's see what kind of yeah. critique we'll get from Thomas Hawk here. All right, uh, the chopping block, so let's go for it. We're gonna go with Thomas Hawk here today. Now, uh, he's a, he's a pretty cool photographer. He got a lot of stuff up. This one I is think uh, he's some decent stuff. This is a guy's world. Uh, All right, let's hit up with the first one. I kind of like this. It looked like he was in a church or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't. Oh, you, you don't like this one? I don't like it. Uh, I just kind of reminds me of a little kaleidoscope toys. Oh, one of the toys? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, the ones you look through, right? In the, in the little thing, I mean. The color you flip lighting, through it? Yeah, so. I like the color and the lighting, but I just don't, you know, that's kind of what it reminds me of. That's 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 pretty cool. I see uh, he got, uh, his highlights was really high on the left-hand side versus the right-hand side. You can see it, like, I coming see, through the window. Yeah, I was just about ready to say that. Yeah. I think maybe if he adjusted his highlights a little bit on the left-hand side to just make it even, like, all across. That would have yeah. turned out to be a perfect shot. Other than that, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I guess going back to how you said, it kind of reminds you of one of the little toys. That's, that's kind of funny. Yep. So, uh, next. Go to the next one here. Oh, railroad shot. I have some of those on my computer. I want to be like Scott Kelby here on this one. There's <laughs> 20 million freaking railroad shots around this world, and that doesn't make them all spectacular. <laughs> that one, I don't think is that great. That uh, I have to agree with. Uh, as you look know, bright, look at how bright it is at the end. I mean, dark down here. In the middle here. In the middle? Yeah. 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 See telephone pole, poles there, you know. Yeah. I'm not too crazy about this one. I, I don't know. I think I would have to agree with you on this one. Uh, I mean, as you know, I'm from Chicago. We got a lot of railroad tracks up here. And, uh, yeah. I don't shoot too many railroad tracks. I mean, it's a lot of railroad tracks that you'll probably find online and through Google Plus and throughout the different communities on the Internet. But uh, I don't know it. Is there any comments under his pictures? Let's see. Let's uh, see what some of the people are saying, what they think about it. Absolutely great. Beautiful. V plus F. Uh, <laughs> voted okay. in favorite. Very cool shot. It's 12 o'clock. Mm, great vintage feel. I was going to say the same thing. Um, great vintage feel. Uh, I wouldn't say great. I'm not, you know, a big fan of the whole vintage thing like that. If I was to do a vintage look, would it be on a railroad shot? Maybe on a human or something like that. Now, I probably would have went HDR with this, but with the brightness of the sun down there at the end, I don't know how that would have turned out. So it's, it's way blown out. I mean, what's so spectacular about the picture? I just don't see anything spectacular about it. I think what he could have did to make this photo shot, well, to make this photo great, I probably would have had to bring this through Photoshop just to, you know, add some custom clouds in or something like that, you know, tweak it just a little bit. But, uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Like Scott Kilby says, next. Next. <laughs> this, this one's okay. I like the sky, the sky in this one. This is really pretty, pretty good shot. You know, I like this. I like that one. That was pretty decent. I like that one. That's pretty cool. Sky looks great. It's just one thing. Uh, I don't know what this is over here, but it's kind of like a smudge, as you see right now. Yeah, it's like a little smudge, and you see the bird. Now, I probably would have took that bird out, because... I don't know. I'm just yeah. not feeling that one bird just off to the left hand side. It's just a lonely bird, like out of nowhere. It's like right. Hey, I call the bird. Just yeah. So I probably would have took that out in Photoshop with the content aware tool. What is at the bottom of this picture? Am I seeing something red or something like a little streak or something? I can't really tell. In your what, video there. Right here in the middle. Yeah, right down at the bottom. What is that right there? It looks like it was some type of, I guess, uh, like a ride or something like that with some words, some okay. lit up okay. words. Yeah. All right. I guess he was at a it's park. A pretty or something good like shot. That. I like that one. I do. I like it. I like oh, the sky, really. that's bright. That's very yeah. bright. That's another railroad shot, but just 
Another Ran railroad shot. Fit. Now, I see a couple of if things. You go the arts, if you go up to the artsy thing, which I think you probably are, most, most of the stuff is kind of artsy stuff, but that's like, God, that hurts my damn eyes. Now, I see a couple of things wrong with this that I would have definitely did before I added the effect with the lights and everything. These two light, these two light poles. Well, you have this one right here, and you have this one over here. Now you have the telephone lines coming down. But as you see here, you have one, two, and three telephone lines that's coming down. And as it goes down, it just fades out. Okay, it's like, what is it connected to? It just fades out. So with that being said, I would have just chopped that out completely versus having it to run through the photo, and then it just fades out into the middle of nowhere. You and over here on the left-hand side, you got the same thing. I think what I would have done in that shot is stepped, is stepped in between the two rails and had them both running parallel, I mean, just like they are. You know what I mean? What you mean? Instead of he's standing, he's standing in the tracks of one, and it's going straight out, and then you see the other ones going at an angle. I'd have just stepped in between the two rails and then had them a little bit angling them together. Oh, I see what you're saying. That would have been great. Yeah, I, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, that would have been great. You can tell he was over to the left hand side on the left track. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, what's the point of having the other track in there? It was kind of weird. The leading lines, you know, it, I'd have been in the middle between the two. Yeah. And I wouldn't have made it so bright as red. Okay. Uh, That's a cool shot. I like that. For this shot, it looks like he, uh, I don't know, maybe used Topaz or something like that inside of uh, Photoshop CS6. Yeah. I, I guess uh, you can tell he got the zoom effect thing going on here. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's decent. I like that. He got the man. I mean, well, no, that's not a man. That's a woman. I'm sorry about that. That's a woman yeah, her and uh, her child. Yeah. yeah what would you say he was at on here? Um, I wonder why he don't add any uh, descriptions to his photos. I don't know. Uh, that would, I think that would be uh, very helpful if he can, you know, add like a description of the photo where he was at when he did the shoot. You know, I guess. Does he, uh, does it, he have what his camera settings are? Uh, his camera <laughs> settings, his camera was, he used the EOS 5D, <laughs> which is an awesome camera. This focal length was a uh, 14 millimeter uh, shutter speed. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's aperture. A shot. High okay. ISO, very high, and I take it because it looks like well, it looks like he was kind of like in a tunnel. I'm not sure, yeah. so I would probably say that's why his ISO was so high. I notice a lot of his pictures are grainy because it looks like he always shoots at high ISO. Yeah. A lot of his shots. I don't know. Why? Uh, no, no. Uh, maybe he's a man that don't like to use uh, well, flash. It, probably is kind of, it was probably kind of dark in that, that time. So I mean, That's I what I'm thinking for this shot, yeah. It's understandable. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking because it was so dark. But it looked like he had a big boost of light coming in from where the two subjects were standing. Yeah. So uh, maybe if he wanted to use his flash in this photo, it probably wouldn't have turned out bad at all. I think maybe he probably could have got away with it. It reflected all the way down the tunnel, which would have been pretty. That might have been a cool effect. Oh, oh, with the light from the flash, you mean? Yeah. Maybe put like a diffuser on it or something like that? Maybe, yeah. That probably would have turned out nice, yeah. I like it the way it is, though. Yeah, yeah I do. Nice. I like this one. This one is nice. That's, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Oh, okay. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling uh, that shot right. Uh, no. It's too dark right in the foreground. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't like this one. I mean, it's a cool cityscape shot. Yeah, yeah, it's city just hall. Dark. A lot of lights, but yes, it's like it goes from just dark to light to just very light. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but I'm not. Let's see what you the see, rest of the world see, thinks. Cityscape escape shots, you know. And uh, oh, this cold wind's killing me. But yeah, I've seen a video cityscape shots. That one, I don't think is that spectacular. Yeah. Uh, I guess he was kind of up like in a high-rise building or something like that when he did this shot. Uh, this is nice. I like this. What's the next one? Come along and take the ride. That's a nice shot. I like the reflection. I like this, yeah. This is a perfect what? shot. I like this. I mean, I think the lighting is just perfect. I, I, I mean, I love what he did with the sky. I mean, it's all blue. One yep. color all the way across. That's nice. I mean, that's sometimes that's nice when you city. see, what's that? That's a, that's a pretty cityscape shot. Yes, that is. I like the way it reflects off of the river. Down. You know what? This shot right here kind of reminds me of a friend of ours, uh, Dennis. 
uh, yeah. friend on Facebook. Uh, you remember that one photo he did? He did like a photo. Uh, yeah. He shot, I, I guess it was like nighttime, maybe like midnight. Him and his wife was on the beach or something like that. And he had the lights yeah. coming across yeah. the water. That was nice, yeah. For a second there, we kind of thought that a friend of ours had actually did the edit inside Photoshop because it was just so perfect with the lights. But uh, exactly what did he say he did again to get that cool effect? Uh, the, the twinkle in the, in yeah. the lights? Yes, that's, that's that's it. Yeah, he had like the twinkle used, effect. Uh, he used a higher aperture, you know, like, uh, like F11 somewhere there, I think. Get that oh, twinkle okay. in the lights. That will give you that effect if you're shooting night shots. Oh, okay. Okay, we have another zoom effect here. What the hell is this? That is a bridge across the water. In between what? two mountains, it look like. <laughs> is it blurry or is it my eye screwed up? I'm taking it here. Uh, I would have to say he added too much of a zoom effect here. Uh, you can tell he went and added the, the zoom effect below on the water and above in the clouds and on the side. But I guess he kind of focused on the bridge in the middle there. Uh, uh no, I don't, I don't, I don't know about this one. No, maybe I should have focused on that bridge. And it got it in sharp focus with all this motor crap, you know. I mean, it's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That now, a shot. Honestly, with this shot right here, I probably would have had to go. I mean, full blown. I mean, all the way tilt. Right. I would have had to tilt this. This this would have been nice if you would have did like the miniature effect. Oh, you know, the tilt shift. Yeah, the uh, tilt shift. Well, yeah, yeah. that would have been that probably yeah. would have been a lot better. And maybe you know, I mean. The reason why I said it, because I remember when I was downtown, uh, downtown Chicago, this was last year with me and my wife, and uh, I did a shot. I was kind of high up on a bridge, and there was uh, some guys, you know, down below in the water on the boat. And right. this reminds me of that photo I shot, and I actually did the tilt shift on that photo, and it turned out, I mean, awesome. It kind of made them look like as if they was in a small bathtub. Yeah. And I was looking down in the bathtub, and they was just sitting in the water. And you know what? As I was standing up on the bridge, I actually had said something to the couple to get them to turn around. And they turned around and waved at me, and I took the shot, and it was perfect. So I think he should have went that way with this. And that would have turned out awesome to just shrink the bridge a little bit, to just make it look like it was a miniature well, what, little set. What is one of the rules, too, when you're shooting? Oh, the rule of third. The rule rule of third. third. <laughs> okay, look at the horizon. It's like dead center across the picture. Yes. You know. I mean, maybe if he'd have cropped it up a bit or brought the camera and shot up with less water, more sky, or vice versa, it'd have probably made a little bit, it'd have been maybe an okay shot. But, um, uh, look at that. I mean, he didn't even use the rule of thirds there right there. I mean, it's like dead center of the horizon. No rule of thirds. Uh, going back to that, I, I would always, uh, also have to say, uh, I got to agree with, uh, with my buddy on uh, YouTube, uh, Jared Poland. Uh, yeah. As far as, you know, he said he don't like to crop. He try to crop, I guess, when he do his photo shoot. I think yeah, that's right. awesome. He's right. Yeah. Now, I got to be honest, I I just started doing that. You know, I wasn't doing it at first until I seen a tutorial he did on YouTube. And I seen a video and everything. And he was demonstrating on how he liked to do his photo shoots when he out. And he doing a photo shoot of a model or maybe a landscape or whatever it is that, he, that, that he's shooting for that day. And I think that's perfect. That's probably what I would have did with this. Yeah, I would have cropped that when I was doing the photo shoot, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling that shot too much, too much yeah. of a blur effect. It's too blurry. Yeah, it's just nothing. I don't feel it at all. Period. This is just uh, I don't know. This is plain. This reminds me when I'm when I'm downtown. When me and my wife is in a high rise building and we stand at a nice hotel, and I say, "Look, honey," and we look out the window and I take my iPhone five and I take a shot. You know. Exactly. Just a freaky <laughs> little snapshot yeah. is all it looks like. I would probably throw that on Instagram or something like that with my iPhone. Yeah, it's just like a snapshot is all I see. Nothing yeah. <laughs> extravagant about it. There's nothing no Yeah, that I, I don't know. We probably have to go to the next because that's I mean that's just a plain photo to me. Maybe yeah. you know what? Maybe if he would have went HDR with all of this structured, I mean there's so much structure in this photo just waiting to be processed in HDR. I mean with all of the building and the windows and everything. And it would have made it just pop. I think so, but I don't know if Thomas Hawk does a lot of HDR. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's that just looks like a regular old snapshot off your phone or something like that to me. Now, I'm curious if he was outside or standing in a window because I see he had his ISO at 100. So that means he shot at a very low ISO because he had a lot of light. So. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next. 
Oh, let's go Did back. Say what camera he used on that shot. The camera he used. Oh, this is the five Mark D two. Okay. Nice camera. Uh, right off top, right off top. I mean, just looking at the photo for a split second. Noise. I see noise. I hate noise in photos. Maybe if you want to add a little bit of grain in certain photos. I like to add grain sometime in my photos when I'm using Lightroom. You, as, as you know, I love to edit with Lightroom. Me and Kevin here kind of go back and forth with that. He's like the Photoshop king. And, uh, I'm like Lightroom all the way. Unless I need to like take something out of a photo, I tend to turn to Photoshop or something like that. But with that being said, I see he shot at uh, uh, ISO at 1600. And if Holy you look God. down here, this is a lot of noise. I mean, you can see all of this noise. Maybe you need to use Topaz denoise. Oh, <laughs> uh, no denoise in this photo. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, the shot, I like it, but yeah, like you said, it's a lot of noise, and that's aggravating. I don't know. Maybe if he just wanted to just crop this whole bottom half out and just make this a cloud shot, you know, a sky shot, he could have just maybe, went that way with maybe. it. Maybe. Maybe he does not use a tripod for all his shots. That's why he has these evening shots with high ISOs. That's probably what it is. Right. Uh, let's go to the next one. Yeah. I remember this one. This is the one I told you. It looks. It, it kind of reminds me of a typewriter tilt, keys. Yeah, that's the tilt shift. It looks like he did the tilt shift or something. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It looked like he was uh, at a stadium or something like that. Maybe a baseball yeah. stadium. It looks like it. Looks yeah, like it. that's nice. Uh, I think the way he did the tilt shift, it turned out just perfect. I mean, yeah. the blur, I mean, he blended it in just fine. I mean, all the way across. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's nice. Good. The black and white yeah. effect. Uh, I guess the rest of the uh, community, uh, I think it's a nice shot as well. Love it. Awesome shot. Okay, this is nice. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, this. What do you think about this, Kevin? Uh, I haven't seen it. So, there we go. Uh, uh, I like the colors. I kind of like it, you know, that on the wall. But why did he cost the damn camera? <laughs> why did he tilt? <laughs> why did he tilt this camera? I don't know. I probably would have shot this on a tripod. Yeah, I would. I, a little cock, maybe a little tilt of the camera. But it's like he just really overdid it. I, like, you got to turn your head to see the damn picture. I don't like that. Now, with this photo, uh, going back to me saying I probably would have shot it on the tripod, I probably would have definitely did that. And I probably would have added the zoom effect on this to make it look like as if she was walking down the hallway extremely fast. And maybe bought in a little bit of focus on the walls just to get these photos to just pop out. Because as you can see, you got Dean Martin on the left-hand side and you got a lot of old school pictures that yeah. I actually find that's nice. I like that. Uh, there's a couple of restaurants yeah. up in Chicago, and you find a lot of these photos, and I think that that type of artwork and stuff like that on the walls is, is nice. I think that's yeah, awesome. I, but like that. I think that would have been nice if he would have added the zoom effect on this to give that effect as if she was just walking extremely fast. Right. Um, nice photo, though. Nice photo. The woman in the doorway. Well, I uh, guess his photo's called <laughs> What's Behind the Door. Uh, I don't know if he should have went with that name. What's behind the door? That kind of makes me feel like as if he closed the door and he shot the picture looking through a keyhole with someone on the opposite side of the door. Then you would say, okay, what's behind the door? But with this, the door is already open and the lady is in the door. So it's kind of like, what's in the doorway? Because you can't see the woman. So All right. <laughs> I kind of like, like the silhouette, but it's it's okay. I don't know. I, I kind of... Is that that Instagram kind of look or whatever I'm, I'm getting out of Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, I'm not that's, a fan of that Instagram or that, or that, of that kind of look. I'm just not a fan of that stuff. Very high ISO. Once again, 3200. Wow. He's not using... He must not be using a tripod. <laughs> must not be. I guess not. <laughs> Let's see what we have next by Thomas Hawkins. Untitled photo. Okay. Uh, That's pretty nice. It's kind of like uh, he did the tilt shift effect again here. Uh, yeah, most definitely he did here. Yeah, it's a nice shot. I like that. I like that. Mm hmm. That's pretty cool. You got the streaks coming from the cars and the lights. I like that. That's nice. I like my own little landscape shooter, but yeah, that's a nice one. You know what? I'm actually going to like this photo. I'm going to like it because I have a 500. 
PX profile here. So I'm going to like that. I like that. Yeah, I got mine too. But... I don't like this. I don't know if he did or if he did it, but right off top, I see right. Well, the trees. That's what caught my eye. The trees. Uh, I don't know if he was light room for like, this photo. That looks, like, that looks like somebody just like drove down the street and said, hey, I'm going to take a picture of this purple, ugly house. Click. Yeah, but I think he should have did this edge inside Lightroom, and he could have actually took a lot of this purple color here off of the trees. You see? You got a lot of purple that's like uh, around the trees. Color yeah. aber that color, mm -hmm. color aberration. Aberration inside Lightroom, exactly. If he'd have used that, he could have took away you that from out, the trees. Can you zoom in on that a little bit, maybe in the trees, and see if that purple like is in the trees? Uh, let's zoom in here. Right now, I'm using Google+. Plus. I'm not using Safari. It's been a lot easier to zoom in, but uh, we're going to yeah. zoom in some more. And as you see, yeah, it's all around the trees. Oh, it's a lot. Kind of looks like the color aberration. He set the color. Uh, yeah. The color aberration in, in Lightroom or whatever he used. Yeah, he he didn't. I, I don't. I don't, I don't even know. Sky's, if he, this guy is way blown out with this ugly purple house. To be honest, <laughs> I wouldn't even. I mean, I would. I mean, I would even go and just say that uh, it don't even look like he did an edit on this photo. It looked like he just took this straight out of the camera and just uploaded so had, it. Maybe he was on the road and. Saw this cool house once again. I mean, I, I don't know. He didn't add any description over here. So. <laughs> I'm interested in the comments. What's, what's the comments say? Let's see what, I want to see what some of these people actually say about this shot. It is a dream. Nice capture. Oh, my God. Just great colors. It is a dream. Memphis. Oh, okay. He was in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, okay. 400 ISO outside. Why so high? Well, it's a cloudy day, so. It didn't look like it was that cloudy. Yeah, it's, it's look at the sky. It's kind of blown out. Goods. I don't know. I kind of like the color purple. Well, I actually like the movie, The Color Purple, as well. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, uh, I got a couple of purple button-up shirts that I like to wear, you know, when I'm going to church or something like that. But you like style and profile, and that's what you like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm not feeling the purple on the branches. <laughs> I'm not either. I, that's I don't. It's just too. That's just too like a snapshot. It was nothing special. Yeah. Instagram. Go by. Click. Okay. Let's go. Instagram. Oh yeah. wow. Now. Okay. This is a a, a dentist uh, a dentist shot, but yeah. you have to put a a, a bee in there. Yeah. Some type we of bug. Some, we need some insects in there. We need some insects in there. Dennis is one of our buddies here. He's probably going to see this video here and laugh. But, but uh, uh, yeah. Right there, dead in the center. It's not, what is this? It's is not it a, really? Well, it's some kind of flower. Is it a flower? Is it some type of pipes? No, it's some kind of flower. I think. Yeah, it's some kind of flower. Is this too is blurry? This sharp? I can't tell. It's just blurred all the way around. And I can't really tell if the center. Is With the, this focus. image, I probably wouldn't have blurred it at all. No blur at all. I mean, I would have left everything in focus. I would have well, sharpened everything go, up. It was go for but. That's a bokeh shot right there, buddy. Yeah. But it just doesn't look sharp enough in the center to me. You think that's what he was going if for? Just, if, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he needs uh, to sharpen up the center a little bit more. But, I mean, it's not too bad of a shot. Cause it's, not, it's not really interesting to me, but, you know, a flower is a flower. <laughs> it's a different type of flower, I'd say. Yeah. I asked those at 100. Yeah, it could be macaroni for all I know. I don't know. <laughs> macaroni, yeah. <laughs> you never know. The bridge. Uh, I don't know. The only thing nope. I like about this is no. the people standing at the bottom. I don't like it. I don't care for that shot. No? No. No feeling. What don't you like about this one? Blown out in the back there. Is it black and white? This is black and white, yeah. Or is it like a cyan? Or like you can't really tell. I, I would have to say he was going for black and white here. Ah. Uh. I just don't like the, what he did to the bridge. Oh, uh, you mean like he didn't get the whole bridge in frame or? Yeah, it's just, you know, a bridge with a bunch of people standing at the boat down in the water and it's blown out the back. Yeah. Uh, just, I don't feel it. I don't know. I, I guess I want to know when I look at this image, I want to know what was the people looking at? Was they looking at the boat? Was they looking at something else towards him? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, he probably could have cropped the people out. It just got yeah, the I whole the, bridge in focus, in frame. 
and just left yeah. it as that a bridge shot with the nice boat, or maybe even took the boat out and come to the well. Why didn't he come like? Why didn't he come like to the left of the picture and then shot with the bridge, kind of? Oh yeah, that would have been from. nice. That would have been nice. Been, that's just like dead on shot. It's right in the middle of the horizon line. It's not even. You know, see the bridge again. It's right dead in the dang center. You know, I'm going by well, Mr. Scott Kelby. When I watch his uh, critiques, you know, this is what he's looking for. This is what he's talking about. <laughs> Scott Kelby, the great Scott Kelby. Yes. Uh, this, that one's not too bad. Once again, this is another iPhone shot. Another, uh, well, not, not necessarily an iPhone. The the Galaxy Note. <laughs> is that what he used? <laughs> I'm not. No, he used this Canon. This Canon, but. <laughs> this is the Instagram again. This is the Instagram. You know, you're with your friends partying downtown. Hey, everybody, let's look outside. Take a picture. You Ooh, know, yeah, uh -huh. Instagram, you know. <laughs> yippee, yippee, look at the sky view. Whoa, look at the building over there. You know, that's it. <laughs> yeah, nothing spectacular. I like this. This is nice. He also used the rule of thirds here. With I like Richard, that. Which is awesome. I, I like, like that. I like her reflection in the water. I guess, yep. yes, that was water. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, I, I do like that. That's awesome. Now, um, I love my HDR. Now, maybe what I probably would have did with this, just to make it a little bit better, I probably would have took two shots of this image. One with her posing right there where she's at, and another posing without her in the image. Then with that being said, I would have took the one without her in the image. I would have HDR this whole entire image. Then I would have put her back in the photo. Therefore, the HDR wouldn't necessarily be on her. It yep. wouldn't be on her. Or again, if he wanted to just HDR the whole image with her, he could have did an HDR FX Pro. Therefore, with his focus points and his control points, he can add the HDR to only the parts of the photo that he liked. But I exactly. would have probably had to go that way with that. And I think that would have turned out perfect because as you see back on that back wall, you got so much graffiti that's just yelling. I mean, it's just yelling to me. HDR me. HDR me. Please HDR me, King of Chicago. HDR me. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, done what you said the first time. I took her out. Yeah, you know, put her back in after you've HDR the shot. Boom. Yeah, I would have shot on the but, tripod, you know, and I would have took it out and put her right back in. But I mean, other than that, I do like it. I, mean, uh, yeah, really I cool. still like it. It's nice. I like the colors. Please, Thomas Hawk, from now on when you do your photos, please add description because I would like to know where you shoot at. These are some cool backgrounds or some cool scenes that you're getting, but uh, I would just like to, you know, get a better feel of where you're at. And right now I'm kind of guessing, so I'm not too sure where you was at in this photo. Next photo. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This is the, yeah, this is the escalator. Maybe he was on his, it looks like he was down on the ground when he got this shot. Probably. I, I like it. It's okay. Oh, uh, I don't like the color. It's like candy. I mean, it's bright ass red and yellow. Right, orange, orange is yellow, yeah. something like that. I mean, the shot's cool. I like that. Leading line, I brought the escalator right straight up. You know, that's pretty cool. I don't know. When I look at this, I kind of feel like, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> once again, people, we're just having fun. But I don't know. When I look at this, it kind of reminds me of, like, I guess people, like, from hell that's trying to escape from hell. <laughs> and they're going to <laughs> the, the, the escalator. Escalator from hell. Because it's, it's so bright. It, it looks like fire. <laughs> again, what's the comments say? Uh, the comments. I don't know. Maybe we can get someone to say, oh, it looks like escalator from hell. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, beautiful. Uh, love this POV. Uh, okay, nice comments here. I don't know. Um, I don't really like this one. I think it's okay. Yeah. I just think it's a little too bright red. Very bright. I like this. That's nice. I like that. I like that. That's a good. That is shot. nice. I like that. I like the lights. I mean, yes. the colors is perfect. That is very nice. See, being a landscape shooter, that's, you know, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. I'm just not into all that artsy-fartsy stuff, like, like some of the stuff that he shoots. You know, I'm just not into all that. No, I, I don't do a lot of the, the, the landscape. But that's I like that. I that is nice. Into. But that is nice. I do like that. I'm amazed at some of these pictures that that we were critiquing and that we're seeing a lot of things in it, but all the comments that people are making, like, oh, it's so beautiful, oh. You know, you think about when if we shoot something like this and we submit it to like a pro or something like that. Woo! Well, that's one of the main reasons why we made this video, World. Yeah. Uh, we made it because, you know, uh, 
as you guys know, uh, well, we get a lot of professionals that'll be so quick to critique the photos of, like what I like to call the youngins. We're the youngins. So we're going to critique the, the, the pros in this video. It's just all about having fun, you know, uh, getting, getting your images out there so that the world can see your work and look at it from a different point of view, just, just, just not from, well, I guess if you want to call it the pros or whatever, so. Yeah. There's uh, some, we're going to bring in, we're going to bring in other people too. Oh yeah, from, most definitely. From our group, from our group, if they're brave enough, yeah. come in here and critique some of their videos. I see LaRon shaking her head, no. <laughs> yeah, we, we got to Come on, y'all, you know, this is, this is a learning thing. It's not that, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm, some, so I'm sure there's some flaws in a lot of my shots. That oh yeah, videos. nobody is perfect. No one, no yeah. one is perfect. But I mean, you know, when you get as close as you can, like LaRon makes some beautiful shots of her, you know, but here she is, she got her head down, she don't want to, <laughs> and Teresa with her portraits, I mean, oh yeah, not, she, she, uh, she's yeah. awesome at what she do, man, with those portraits of her kids and uh, her grandkids, those are awesome photos, man, and we got Charmaine over there, and she's, uh, the, she's the, uh, she's the, uh, she's the tree lady, I want to call her, she likes to see them trees, the and, trees, uh, you know what, I, and stuff. I mean, she comes out and makes some really gorgeous stuff, yeah, she likes to create the moons and the stars and the galaxies and the planets, she thinks she's she has my, she's uh, got my my heart. She's in the, she likes her Photoshop, likes the designs. Yeah, yeah, we That's definitely girl. way down from Australia. <laughs> we definitely got to get their photos in here, Lebron. We got to get her work in here as well. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think Le, yeah, yeah. Lebron just put up some photos not too long ago. Of uh, yeah. I, I I think she had a photo shoot with a couple. Yeah, so maybe I don't know. Maybe we can talk her into. Uploading some of her photos, and maybe we can put them out here on YouTube, and uh, hopefully we can get some more views for her photos as well. I think she's down in California. Uh, we have a lot of friends, you know, all around the world. Uh, thanks to Google Plus, uh, I I must say I love Google Plus. Uh, I oh, switched yeah. from Facebook. Yeah. I'm still on Facebook, but Google Google has gotten my heart. <laughs> yeah, Google is so, the ball. Yeah. Uh, with this photo here, uh, I got a lot of photos like this from downtown Chicago. Just looking up at the buildings, in between the buildings, uh, getting a nice shot of the buildings and the structure and everything and the detail. Um, I got to say it's an okay shot, but I mean, I see a lot of this when I'm downtown. You know, I see so many yeah. photographers that come to Chicago that's just tourists and everything to just shoot. Yeah. And this is one of the main things that they do when they come to Chicago. They want to get the beam. They want to get the, the, the Sears Tower. Uh, I mean... The Melon yeah. Road statue. I mean, everybody's looking up, looking up, you know, so. This shot might be, would have been beautiful if there was some blue sky, some clouds in it. I mean, this well, is like. Well, he put it in black and white. It's still boring. It's nothing. I want to see sky. I want to see. You know what now, I mean? he could have took that sky out and. Uh, he with black and, you know, buildings going straight up to this white sky. He could have took the sky out in Photoshop. You remember that one picture I did a while back that was like this, yeah. and I took the sky out and replaced it with a different sky, but I put the zoom effect on the sky itself in Photoshop. Yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah, he just wanted to keep it plain with real. this. I'm, 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 well, I don't know. I'm thinking he wanted to just keep it plain, you know, natural, which is what he did here. But once again, this ISO is killing me. Now, if he's pointing up at the sky, why is your ISO so high? I don't understand that. Use a tripod, uh, Thomas. If you ain't using one, you need to start using one, man. Because right off top, again, I mean, I'm looking at a lot of noise right here in this corner. A lot of noise. Yeah. A lot of noise. But um, uh, I guess next photo. If he is using a tripod, I mean, you don't need to shoot that high ISO. So um, the image I, is not moving. This. That's a cool shot. I don't know. I don't. I guess. Yeah, that's a pretty cool shot. I like that. That little wildlife. You know, this girl got a frog on her nose. You know? Frog on her nose. I'd like to see a pee on her or something like that. That'd be kind of funny. Dribble down her nose. That'd be all right. <laughs> you know, a funny picture, but it's all right. A funny shot. picture. How focused is that frog? Oh, uh, 100 millimeter. Yeah, it can, okay. Yeah, you're coming in and out a little bit when I'm looking, looking at your screen. It's kind of... Yeah, it's in there pretty sharp. I like it. It's something I do with my kids. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's okay shot. Shot. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Kind of gave it the effect to make sometimes, it look like it was... What's that? Sometimes, like, in these shots right here, you see, you know, that's a periscope. It's got lights all around it, man. You know, you could have kept a color and... Yes. 
the black and white and then seeing the colors coming from the Ferris wheel. Yes, something. that would have been totally awesome, yes, to see those colors yeah. just pop out like that. I got to agree with you on that. I don't think I would have went uh, well black and white with it. Yeah. But I mean, I like the comp- composition of it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like the composition. That is nice. So, uh, more graffiti. Okay. A wall. Well, a door. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything to say about this. I don't either. Next. Next photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. Yeah, that's, yeah. Another iPhone picture, I would say. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say iPhone picture, I just mean like maybe you're coming from somewhere, you're walking out of a store with your wife or your friend, and you see something that's weird like this, and you take that shot. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. This is something that I wouldn't edit. Uh, I guess maybe I would add it to my collection of crazy, weird photos on the street of Chicago. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Uh, This is okay, but it's so dark at the bottom, you know, it's so dark. He should have cropped it up a little bit, or brought, like yes, said, I probably would have cropped that cropped because a little bit. I would have definitely cropped this because, like I say, it's nothing down here to to see. It's nothing. So why I would like you leave that? Sky. Yeah, I mean nothing. Yeah, I love that sky, but and the build and the lights. Yeah, and the lights. I would have cropped it up here, right here to this tree, because there's nothing down here to 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 look at, you know. But, and I don't like the vignette at the top corners. Yes, that vignette. Yeah. Some things look good, but that one I think. No need like, for the vignette like, for this picture. Yeah, I like to see the sky spread out across that picture instead of just yeah. vignettes. Or some good, or I mean, there's nothing really dead center to need a, a vignette to to focus your eyes dead center. You know, it's just a landscape shot. No. Yeah. Jack in the box. Okay, my little nephew uh, like to take these photos Instagram. Um, <laughs> you know, another, okay. another iPhone shot. Hey, I'm gonna run down to McDonald's and take a picture of McDonald's, okay? Yeah. And let's see if it, uh, if I can get if I can get any good comments. I, 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 I don't know. I think I might run to the Olive Garden. Okay, Olive Garden. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll just get, yeah, get a picture of the sign in the building, and you know, <laughs> let's see if we get any. What's give me the comments? I want to see the comments. The comments. This, this, this photo is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> let's see the comments. Great exposure. Okay. Oh, I can smell the fries from here. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not the only one that's thinking about food I, when I see this. I'm going to go to McDonald's this weekend or later on this week, and I'm going to take a shot at night at McDonald's, and I'm going to post it on my 500 pics and see if I get what kind of comments I get. <laughs> okay, now I don't want to tell you what, what my... What hell is this? I, I don't, I don't want to tell you what my mind is thinking when I see this, but first off, I would say maybe if... I would have definitely added this to my new section because you have a new That's section disgusting. on five. That, you have no. a you have a new That's, section on five hundred px. Hey, like <laughs> Kennedy said, there ain't enough sliders in Lightroom to fix that picture. All right, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's I, I would take it. This is probably a nudie picture. I don't like. And, uh, it. I don't like it. I'm guessing maybe he was looking through a shower door of a you know <laughs> silhouette of a man that was in a shower. Maybe he was showering. It looks like he was. It looks like a black man, like he was picking his afro or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Next photo. Know. Next photo. Come on, man. Who wants a blurry, blurry picture like that? Why? Why? Okay. Another shot that you will see from downtown Chicago. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna when I get to Charleston next time, I'm gonna take a picture of the hostess building, <laughs> hostess bread, and I'm gonna see what kind of comments I get on that because that's just. Big deal. You got the pigeons. What are those? Big, no, no, yeah. those are not pigeons. Okay, those are crows. That's a picture. What is it? Those are crows up there. Look like yippy skippy on the bread side. Are, yeah, well, I guess they're having a conversation about the bread. They're gonna pick up off the ground outside <laughs> the bread store. Okay. Let's scoop down Next. and get this bread. No comments. Yeah, I wonder where. Else. See, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, what do you know? He used the fish eye lens effect. That's. I'm not a fish eye fan, but I do like, I like fish the fish eye. I like the fish eye. I'm not a fish eye fan. <laughs> I don't like the fish eye lens. I just, the girls are gesturing to us like that they like what they don't like so far. You notice that? Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> that's I like a this nice, photo. That's a nice shot. I like nice. that. I think he should have cropped the ear off. Yeah, I was getting ready to say it. I was just getting ready to say that. I mean, part, he got part of the ear cut yeah, off. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have cut that ear off. 
Uh, he should have left the yeah, era. That's yeah, that's a no no from what we're uh, from what I've been told and what I've seen and what I've shoot. Uh, once again, very high ISO thirty two hundred, extremely high. I wonder if it was at a wedding or something like that. Man. Yeah, it looks but it like, was a nice portrait. Yeah, was, that's a nice portrait. Yeah. Um, I guess this can probably be the last photo that we critique for the night. Uh, I like it. I like the color. Yeah, that's a nice photo. That's nice. Yeah, I like that one. It's very nice. Oh, uh, Lauren says she liked this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, I guess we can close it out here. If you like Kevin Rice, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this short. Well, it wasn't too long, I hope. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, I'm your man, Big B Productions 100. Again, you guys can find me on YouTube, as always, on Facebook, on Twitter. This is Kevin Rice. He's on Google Plus as well. Facebook. I would be sure to put the links down below in the description so that you guys can check out our photos as well. And maybe, hey, we can get our photos critiqued by the professionals. Scott Kelby yes. and RC Concepcion. And, hey, Thomas Hawk can even join in the hey, crowd. We, we, hey, we invite him to come and join. Yeah, yeah, you know. I to see him in here. It's it's fun, you know. It's fun, hey, you know. It's fun. So we're all here to learn, and that's what it is, you know. So that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Yeah. Please check out my buddy's page here, Kevin Rice. He's a great, or shall I say, awesome photographer as well. We hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Uh, we have a lot of friends that's on our community as well on Google Plus. That's awesome at what they do. Uh, Remind them about our community in Google K O Gallery. Oh. KR Gallery Series Photography. Yes. Come and join our community. Yes, come and join the community uh, if you like. And hey, let's have some fun. You know, we can all critique each other's photos and help each other out at the end of the day. Because uh, I have to say, you know, um, as a guy that works for Apple, uh, I didn't know too much about uh, taking photos until I actually met Kevin, you know, and um, he introduced me to a lot of new stuff and uh, opened up my eyes. And uh, that helped me out a lot, you know. And, uh, as well, you know, uh, me looking at some of the other people that I work with uh, in here in our community and on Facebook, I learned a lot from uh, some great friends. So, hey, let's all uh, just hang out and uh, have some fun at the end of the day. This is your man, Big B Production 100. This is Kevin Rice. Take it easy, guys. I'll let Come you. Come back.